Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Pisces for December of 2011. This also applies if you have a Pisces ascendant. So my Pisceans, it's another very big month astrologically. We've got an eclipse at 18 degrees of Gemini happening in your fourth house of home and family and we've still got Mercury retrograde until the middle of the month in your 10th house. So this axis from the 4th to the 10th house is going to play a very important role in the next six months or more, because remember the eclipse lasts for six months, the energies. So um, what this is going to mean for you is a whole re-evaluation of your security needs, your safety needs, your home. It could mean a move of residence. It could mean a sale of a property. It could mean more than one move of residence. It could mean um, renovating a home. It could mean selling a home, buying another home. Um, a change in your family circumstances. You might find that you, you come and look after somebody from your family or somebody comes and helps you out. But there's going to be some changes and some re-evaluation from you as to your home and your environment and how satisfied you feel with that and the responsibilities that you're taking on there. Maybe you need to reduce your responsibilities in some way. And at the same time, this great reflection on your career, on your life direction. For the first two weeks of this month, you will be thinking about it, hopefully, and reflecting on it while Mercury is retrograde. And it's also a good time for completing any projects in the work area that have been outstanding. During the retrograde, they could well complete and you're finished with them. But you are going to be looking at your life direction, where you're going, what you want to achieve in the world, and at the same time, um, your connections with family and home and the people close to you. All this will come under sharp focus and change. You may change your whole direction of uh, your career, very possibly during this next six months. Um, you'll, you'll certainly be questioning it greatly. Luckily, you're a mutable sign. That's all I can say. In a way, luckily, these eclipses are going to affect the mutable signs more greatly, more intensely. But mutables, thank goodness, are more adaptable than many of the other signs. And you're probably going to be changing plans and things will change a lot during this month. Mars in your seventh house, Pisces. Time to be more assertive in your relationships. Uh, not to be so laid back and so compromising and accommodating. Mars means it's time to be assertive and also, for those of you looking for a relationship, time to go out after it this month, not to be waiting for it to come to you. We've got Venus for some of this month in your 11th house, making a nice sextile um, to the sun um, as well for some of this month. So this can be a lovely time to make new friends, to join an organisation or a group, do something nice with friends, appreciate them, um, show that appreciation. Um, any kind of disagreements you've had can also be smoothed out during this time. Um, we've also got Venus, Neptune, the last week of this month in your 12th house. You might have some very powerful dreams. Maybe have a pen and paper by your bed because dreams are your speciality, Pisces, because there could be some very important messages there for you. It's also a good time the end of the month to really help out, to be selfless, to do something for somebody who is less fortunate than you. That's very much the energy of Venus conjunct Neptune, your ruler. We've also all month got a trine from Neptune to Saturn from your eighth to your twelfth houses. So any kind of dreams that you've been having could be made a reality now, especially if it's anything connected with a joint financial situation and also anything connected with meeting a soulmate. That too could become a reality with that aspect, making Neptune, the dreams, Saturn into practicality. There you have it. I wish you a great month. You might want to have a reading about what 2012 holds in store for you or ask a question or treat somebody else to a reading about what this year has in store for them, or maybe buy a book or an audio. Take a look at my website if you're interested. I'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you for listening. 
Bye for now.